Hello, welcome to Econometrics Melody. In this tutorial, we'll deal with the linear feed, linear feed confidence interval, quadratic feed, quadratic feed confidence interval, fraction polynomial feed, and fraction polynomial feed confidence interval plot type in this data. So let's prepare our data set. This is the data set that we are going to use for this tutorial. And um, our first plot type is a linear feed. We are going to draw a scatter plot connected by the lines of income and export and then we are going to linear feed and draw line feed for that and these are the styles marker styles and other line styles so this is the linear feed is represented by the red color and these are the options that we can use for the linear feed so range options number of prediction options eight observations estimated options prediction options line options c line is connect line for the fit line options access to x options two way options and so on so let us see what does this range option do range option will help us draw the predicted line up to the specified range of x so we have specified the range to 1200 to 2100 so we get the fit line up to that point and we have again used the two plot type connected and yield fit of the same variables now let us specify the number of predictions to be 5 in this case, number of each prediction to be 5 and let us see what happens to the graph. So this does not change significantly and uh, let us combine them together, the three graphs and let us see what are the differences. So the range plot is going to change the linear fit, the range of the linear fit and the number of predictions did not change significantly. Now let us use the weight option and plot the same graph by using by option and so for that let us generate a weight variable and then again by the help of connected and yield feed we are going to also for the yield feed we are going to provide the weight the generated weight variable and we are going to plot this graph across gender so by gender let us see the categories this is the graph feed by and so this is the result a fairly very simple result so we get a linear feed for female the feed is sorry the feed is declining and while the male it is in increasing form as well in the total it seems to be in equilibrium position let us drop them all and quickly move to another plot type it is linear feed with confidence interval now we're going to manipulate the feel and look of confidence interval so l fit ci is this is the area graph we use this at the first but in, in case of combinations so this will get the first preference followed by the other graphs and we are again going to use the linear feed confidence interval of income and export and draw the scatter plot your options and your styles which are very simple options so we got a confidence interval of the linear fit so the middle line is represented by the other white color this is the linear fit now let us see what are the options for this we can use the standard deviation of prediction or, or forecast or residuals to generate this linear fit a level of significance or range number of prediction and these are the options that were repeated and additional options fit plot so for this fleet we can speci specify the plot types whether it's a line or a scatter or connected and we can also specify the ci plot type it should be the area plot type and efc fc line so this is for fit connected line so this manipulation of this line feel and look of the fitted line and feel and look of fitted area by this options exercise options and two way options let us explore some of them and let us use the standard errors used to determine the confidence interval sddp prediction forecast and residuals let us use them run a loop and let us combine them together so the most commonly used is the prediction one the other one are just for here depicted just for the example only so prediction one if we use the forecast standard error of forecast to determine the confidence interval so all the plots are included within this range confidence interval 
and so is the case with the residual standard error now let us move to the confidence interval we are going to manipulate the confidence interval first of all let us manipulate the level of significance so here i have run a loop for all the way from 96 to 99 and we have specified this option over here level x and let us see it for ourselves and compare it as the confidence interval increases the area increased by it also increases so these are the options common options now let us move to another variation it is about fit plot so the fit plot this is the fit plot represented by the middle line so we can use different plot types and like a line a scatter a spike dot and so on and let us see what happens and we have specified this option over here after just beneath the range fit plot and this very list will occur in sequence and let us use this and see it for ourselves line scatter spike dot so this is taking some time so the fit plot it is line and here it's a scatter points and here it's a spikes so that's why we get this white color and here it's a dotted plot type similarly we can manipulate the confidence interval plot so the confidence interval plot this entire confidence interval plot and we are going to so we need to specify this option over here so what type of plot we are going to use this should generally be the area plot and we are going to use our area our line our scatter our spike our connected and let us use this and see it for ourselves range area plot so this is the area plot the outer border is yellow the color should be yellow and the l feet ci plot r line a range line that is why we see only the outer line in, in the confidence interval is scatter so the upper bound and lower bound they are the scatter plots and it's a spike the upper bound and the lower bound are represented in a spike that is why we see this line color yellow and here is R connected. It's a kind of a scatter plot, but with connected lines. So these styles and options are obvious. For a scatter, we use marker symbol. And for LPCI, we use this color of the lines, confidence interval, the outer border of the confidence interval. And we have used the fit plot type scatter. So fit plot type is a scatter, while the confidence interval plot type are the area plot types range area plot types now let us move to the other options it is with connected line manipulation so fc line now let us manipulate the look and feel of this connected line by specifying these options fit plot is line confidence interval plot are a spike and the color should be blue and its width let us see what happens so this is blue due to this connected line color is blue and width is 1.1 and so on. now let us move to the another option area options now we can manipulate the look and feel of this area confident area of the confidence interval by specifying this option and it is evident by this prefix a assigned to them and let us see what happens and let's combine the result so the al pattern is dot this is evident and al which is 0.4 al color is orange color f intensity 0.93 pink color a color and in case of con conflict between the colors the latest color will get the dominance and now let us combine them together and see it for ourselves This is the feet connected line options, and this is the feet area options. 
we can manipulate the look and feel of both the area as well as the fit line so now let us plot the similar results across gender or using option by so we are going to plot the similar kind of result across gender so here's female for male and for total this is the result which is obvious by now let us drop them all and move to other part so what do we have so we have a next plot type it is quadratic feed now by the name it is ABDL now previously it was the linear fit now we use the quadratic fit so we get a quadratic fit list other options they have similar explanations these options are obvious by now um, let us see about the confidence interval we have explored about the confidence interval manipulation of the bit plot ci plot confidence interval plot its type plot type along with its manipulation of a fit line color and the fit area color as well so this should be familiar by now and let us see the changes so we have actually used the same features or styles dot 0.4 orange and so on now let us combine them together and see it for ourselves this is the case of quadratic linear fit quadratic fit this is the quadratic fit and quadratic confidence interval now these are the options that we can use for confidence interval and these options are similar to that of the previous one now let us drop them all and move to the other plot type so it is fractional polynomial fit so we are going to use, draw a connected of income and expenditure first these are the scatter plots and we are going to plot the fraction polynomial fit let us see what is the region we get the fractional polynomial fit this is the fractional polynomial fit and uh, other options and uh, the styles or their explanations are similar now let us move to its confidence interval how to set the confidence interval and it is again similar to the previous one so this will manipulate the look of the fit line and this will manipulate the look of the confidence interval area and so on so let us run this quickly and see it for ourselves so this is the fit and let us combine them together and compare it so this is the fractional polynomial fit and this is the fractional polynomial field along with its confidence interval so for manipulating the fractional polynomial with confidence interval at which is common or similar to that of the previous heat confidence interval and let us see what do we have next and let us quickly summarize all of them and combine them together for our comparison linear feed quadratic feed and the fractional polynomial feed and we have combined them together then after their respective confidence interval and we'll put them in the same graph and we'll put them in the same graph it will be easy for us to compare and then combine them together so finally let us combine the respective feet along with their confidence interval And let us show here it's a linear feed and its confidence interval quadratic feeds its confidence interval fractional polynomial feed and its confidence interval so we are able to manipulate the feel and look of both the feed line as well age the area and confidence interval so this is very useful to manipulate these respective features it's a time to thank you all for your precious time this is it for this tutorial. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time. Econometrics melody.